All right, hello everybody, it's Homie from Dota Coach. And yep, it's me. This is the first time I'm showing myself on camera. So I hope there's not gonna be a bunch of comments being like, damn, you are ugly, dude. I, I fucking regret that I watched your videos, man. So yeah, I, don't, I hope this is not gonna happen. Because today, we are going to watch Ice 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 play Enigma. I mean, looking at these stats here, that doesn't, doesn't look very amazing to me, but let's, let's take a look at the game. I think you're gonna like how Ice 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 plays this. So, as I take a sip from my green bottle, let's watch. First of all, let's analyze what team did he pick Enigma into. So, he has a Roamer, Tuscar. Something that I like about Enigma is that he fits nice in a team with roamers. So let's take a look at Ice Ice Ice's starting items here. He starts with Boots of Speed and 4 Mana Potions. And also he's, he was given a ward by his support who is or Oracle. Now, I like the starting build, you know. You might say now, eh, Boots first? What is this League of Lesbians? I'm going to talk about the Boots later, okay? First of all, the ward. The ward is a key thing about playing Enigma on the offlane. Let's see where he's going to put it. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> Never would have thought he put it there, you know. Um, he places it in this, in this very common spot. So you might ask, well, homie, why Why are we looking at this? This is normal stuff. With Boots of Speed, we have 340 movement speed. No other hero is going to be close to this. So you're not going to be chased, okay? So now your only fear is really being caught from behind. That came out a bit wrong. <laughs> but this ward will ensure that Rasta can just come from behind and like shackle you, you know, and this is why this ward here is super important Now, let's see how he starts out in his offlane here So the creep spawn and he will immediately cast his demonic conversion and use a mana a clarity I guess Yes, and now look what he's doing. He's using both his conversions and his hero to block Now, I want to pause here again. If you play offlane, then you know what's going to happen next, which is these creeps are going to do a weird ass path where they suddenly turn to the left here, I guess from their own point of view to the right. And look how he takes advantage of this. Look. Holy shit, he is blocking the shit out of those fucking, fucking creeps. Look at that. So let's look where these creeps are going to meet down here in the lane. Pretty good right there, and yeah, look at the morphling. He's not feeling he's not feeling well at all right now. He's not farming. He's fighting fucking Tuscar. I mean, what is this? You know, he's not getting experience. He's level one. Enigma is level two. This is a nightmare for any safe laner. This is really what Enigma is about. As we watch, the speed up a bit here. As we watch Enigma here, they get a kill on Morphling, which is a disaster, really. I mean, I know some players who would leave the game at this point right here. But, see how he, whenever he has a demonic conversion up, he uses this on his own range creep. Or any creep, really. And yeah, this is just standard stuff. The lane cannot possibly ever go out of control, because you're constantly using his your own demonic conversions on your own creeps, so that your lane will be in balance. The first item he's getting is the uh, arcane boots. And he's getting arcane boots naked. This is like when, you know, you're partying all night, you're like, you went to the club, you had this like fucking crazy night, and then the next day, you wake up at like 12 in the morning, and you're just like, fuck man. So you're just like, fuck it, I'm gonna start with dinner today, I'm gonna buy pizza, I'm not even gonna have breakfast. 
this is this is what Ice 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 is doing right here in his lane. He is buying arcane boots immediately before anything else. Enigma is a beast at controlling his lane. Notice how the equilibrium of his equilibrium of his creeps are always here, like right in front of his tower. Morphling is not getting the farm he wants. He's not even leaving the lane. He's like, fuck it, man. I can't even do this. And also another nice thing about Enigma is Enigma can just easily go to the jungle. Like he doesn't care at all if he's in the jungle. He has no problem farming it. So he is able to give his horse guard a farm here. So yeah, that's good stuff, right? Early game, all about controlling our lane. Leave the equ equilibrium in front of our tower. Deny everything you can. And you're gonna give the opponent safe lane a very hard time. And this is a very critical thing in to today's meta. The safe laner is a very important piece to the puzzle. Especially in today's time where we have Morphling, who's like fucking, he doesn't have to spend mana to attribute shift, I mean, come on Ice Rock, it's time you like, I mean, it's about time, I don't have a watch, but I still I still see it's about time that you change fucking Morphling. A few little things about how he controls his Eidolons, I still want to say, always try to deny your own Eidolons when you can, don't just feed them to the enemy, because they give gold in experience, and whenever he has Eidolons up, notice how he uses them both to last hit, and to harass. So here you see he's last hitting with them, he's just boxing all of his units, last hitting. And let's see here. He's at 34 CS, 33 denies. How many times do you see this shit? The next item he's building towards is Hand of Midas. So here's the thing about Midas. You might come and say now, but wait, Enigma is not a carry, why is he buying Midas? Well, let me tell you why. Getting Midas is really part of his entire game plan, okay? First of all, it's easy for you to farm the Midas. Why? Because you're a beast in your lane. It's similar like I discussed in my last video about Lone Druid. Lone Druid is also a beast in his lane. This means he can get a Midas most of the time. Number two thing, since you're able to get it consistently, Midas will also allow you to consistently stay ahead or at least keep up with your carries and levels. And keep in mind, you're the offlaner. If you can keep up with your safe laner's farm, then that is fucking sick. 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 But there's another thing, a third thing, which has to do with the, our build in the rest of the game. You might know Enigma has a talent which gives him cooldown reduction. This will also reduce the cooldown of his Midas, huh? Get it? So this is why you get Midas, right? It's just part of your overall game plan. Some of you might say now, hmm. Why don't we just get Dagger? Dagger is a good item on Enigma that we're always going to get. Black Hole at level 1 has a 200 second cooldown. For those of you who can't do math, that will be... That will be over 3 minutes, okay? 3 minutes cooldown. Or are you really going to get a Blink Dagger just for this spell? So Black Hole is of course a whole nother subject that we're going to get into later. Because we have got a pretty interesting situation coming up. I want you guys to notice how good his opponents are actually playing, okay? They know Enigma has the black hole, and as soon as he is casting this Midnight Pulse, they pretty much know he's gonna cast it. And look at this Rasta. He's doing a nice thing. He is constantly denying his black hole here. And he's staying out of his black hole range so that Enigma cannot black hole both Rasta and him. And now, because he didn't get hit by black hole, he can cancel it. You see this? And this allows Brewmaster to cast his ultimate. And now Enigma is pretty much fucked. In fact, the entire Dire team is fucked. And they die as a result. So what is he doing now? He's farming. He's farming. So also check out how at 10 minutes Enigma has no problem farming Ancients. Something I forgot to mention earlier is how he constantly keeps ferrying uh, Mana potions, because Enigma is a mana intensive hero, but 
I'm not sure if Soul Ring, like, I'm not sure why it doesn't buy Soul Ring. I think buying Soul Ring and Power Treads is a great alternative to his build here. Just buy Boots and then immediately Soul Ring, and then Midas into Power Treads into Blink Dagger. And the real reason why I would buy the Power Treads is for the health, as well as Tread Switching. Actually, now that I say this, I, I like this a lot more. I think I'm gonna try this. But yeah, now he's basically just farming his ass off. He's sitting at top goal per minute. He's top net worth as an offlaner, so I mean, that's good. Uh, in this instance, Pascar made a big mistake playing. In case you don't know, Viper's second spell now applies a break, which meant that Haskar didn't get attack speed from his uh, passive. So definitely bad by the Haskar there. And I think I want to note right now is Radiant is actually ahead. Okay. Radiant is ahead. Morphling has bounced back in terms of farm. And let's see what's gonna happen now. Okay, they have a little bit of fight brewing up. Okay. This black hole is soon to come. Okay, okay. And what we're gonna see now is most of the heroes, most of Radiant heroes are gonna end up in the bottom lane. Ice as Ice has now got the blink dagger. Which means his black hole is going to be dangerous. And... Look at this. Oh, they're clumping up. Oh! That's a five-man black hole at the 70 minute mark. Shit! Ice, ice, ice. Oh! But, unfortunately, here's the problem. Puck is farming. Doesn't have TP. And as a result, they lose again. They lose this fight where they have a five-man black hole. Yeah. Radiant has bounced back, okay? What you want to do now in this situation is you want to put pressure on the map. You have one of the sickest spells for pushing, okay? And see what he does. He pushes. The pusher is going to push. You know what I mean? If we're good at pushing, then you might as well push. If life gives you lemonades, make lemons. You heard it here first. So, good stuff. He's farming. He's hit level 15, and now we have the funniest talent in the game. We get to choose between 120 gold per minute and 15% cooldown reduction. Now, most of pub players I know, they will be like, gold per minute is my deal. I'm all about the farm. I'm gonna get that money, okay? I wanna win this game. I'm gonna fucking pick the gold per minute. But think about how stupid this decision is 120 gold per minute okay this means in 10 minutes you're gonna get 1200 gold that is a lot it's a, it's, it's a bunch of money however 15 percent cooldown reduction okay let's let, let's fucking list what this does it decreases the cooldown you handle by this the the original cooldown is 100 seconds now it's 85 seconds it decreases the cooldown on your black hole. The original cooldown was like fucking, I don't even know, like 200 fucking years. Okay. And now it's 153 seconds. That's two minutes. That's not bad, okay. It decreases cooldown on your midnight pulls. Decreases the cooldown on your demonic conversions. This gives you a five second window now where you can have two demonic conversions up, okay. Because the duration is 35 seconds. Decreases the cooldown on your male fist. Decreases cooldown on your dagger. I mean, this doesn't matter too much. It's like two seconds less. And also arcane boots. I think it was like 50 seconds before, maybe. Or like 55 seconds. Now it's 46 seconds. So, people. Please choose the freaking cooldown reduction. Gold per minute is never better than cooldown reduction. Especially on Enigma, okay? Let's go on here. <laughs> That was a little bit of a rant. I mean, it gets my... Nice, nice black hole there. Ice, ice, ice. That's why we're watching you, okay? Because you are so good at making these black holes, you know? Let's look at it in small motion. Puck goes in. He has Dagon. Uses Dagon and boom! Black hole! Good play, Ice, ice, ice. What a great player. But this teaches us an important lesson, okay? Which is, don't hold back your black hole. I think it's completely fine that he used it like that. Really, if you're not using your black hole because you're like scared to fail or something, then you're then there's something wrong with you. Really, you should be looking to fuck up your black hole just so you can see how big balls you have to your team, okay? 
you're not afraid to fuck up your black hole, use that shit, okay? Whenever you kill somebody, thanks to your black hole, it was a good black hole. Don't try to always get like the fucking six man black hole, like dev meeple, don't try to get the eight, eight man black hole up every time. Two man black hole is completely enough. In fact, it's the best thing ever. The first thing you should look for is, if you don't have BKB, try to hit the person that could disrupt your black hole. The second thing should be, is your team with you to be able to focus them down in the black hole? And third sh thing should be to look for the appropriate target. And then, number four thing is, look to get these eight people black holes, okay? And this is why it's no problem to fuck up black holes. It's better to fuck up your black hole than to not use it, okay? Also, don't go crazy. Like, you see five heroes, boom, blink black hole. You see this? This is how you black hole, guys. Let's see again. Let's look again at this black hole. His team is right there. He's right there and he uses black hole. Why? Because his teammates are right next to him. This is a great black hole. He has his team to back up. So our next item, like I said earlier, is going to be the Octarine Core. It gives you cooldown reduction. Little side note here. Your talent and Octarine Core stacks multiplicatively. I don't know if I said that wrong, I'm not going to try again, okay? But the basic thing is, it's not, it doesn't stack additively, okay? Which means, it's not like 15 plus 25 equals 40, 40% 40 cooldown reduction. That's not how it is. Here's how it works. It takes the cooldown of your spell, so in case of Midas, because it's easy, Midas minus 15% cooldown reduction equals 85 seconds. And then it will apply the cooldown reduction from Octarine Core to these 85 seconds, okay? That's what multiplicative cooldown reduction means, right? Now, our black hole has a cooldown of 100 seconds. That is so good. Your demonic conversions now have a cooldown of 22 seconds, which means you have a significant amount of time where you can have two co demonic conversions up. Now, furthermore, Octarine Core also gives you a shit ton of mana, okay? Now why is that good? Simple, because later in the game we're gonna get Refresher Orb pretty much every time. And you can tell now, with this cooldown reduction up on our hero we excel, we completely excel at two things. One, we are the pusher, we are the fucking pushers of the world, okay? If life gives you lemonade, make lemons, right? Second, we destroy any team fight. And furthermore, what we've got, got coming up here is our level 20 talent, which gives each of our Eidolons 70 damage. And now again, if you've watched our last video about Lone Druid, then you will know that units like Eidolons or the Spirit Bear have a different attack type than heroes. And I mean, the level 25 talent for Enigma, I feel, doesn't even need like introduction. Plus 8 Demonic Conversion Eidolons. That means you're gonna get 11 Eidolons. Which e with each cast. So, here we see his next item will be the BKB. He also boot Boots of Travel. Boots of Travel is a natural item choice if you have a shit ton of cooldown reduction. He is now level 25, which means he has 11 Eidolons. And that is the strength of the Enigma. You're the sickest at controlling your lane. You're gonna deny all of the farm of your opponent easy laner. You're gonna be the highest net worth even though you're the fucking off laner. I mean, to be fair, it's Ice as Ice playing here, so that's like a level above. It's definitely something you can go do in your games, since everyone right now is like, safe lane! And you can be like, okay, I'm off lane. You're pretty much gonna get it every time. So yeah, this is, the f this is it for this video. See you guys next time.